I'd like to welcome everybody to the KML VIP Lounge. Whoa! That's right. For the Hennessy DSOP Privilege Music Series. Y'all here for the very first one yeah. of many, many more. Yeah. So give it up for Hennessy in the house. Whoa! Give it up for the Hennessy that you drank. <laughs> and coming to the stage is my man. He's been doing it a long time. He got a new album coming out. Y'all know him. because Let's bring him to the stage. The one and only Omarion. Coming to the building. The legend himself. How many have you had? <laughs> this my first one. That's what it is. That's all what it take. Omarion's What's in the What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How's it going, brother? Excellent, man. What's up? Hey, we here to talk about you because you got a lot of things going on right now. It's a blessing. What you want to start off? You want to start with this new album that's coming out? Um, I guess, yeah. I guess we can. Um, Reasons is the title of the album. This is uh, my best work. You know, um, this is... Um, this is uh since since I became a father, you know, uh everything changed, you know, um my perspective and thoughts of music, you know, um my topics, you know, how I feel about music, everything has changed so much is elevated and it has um continued to just grow, you know, um and that's what this whole album is about. It's about the reason of that. You know, when you're a child prodigy and you've been working in the music industry for a long time, you know, and you grow up in front of people, your life, you know, is different. And for me, you know, uh, the music just means something different to me. It's like I, I truly want to inspire people. I truly want people to hear my music and to have a good time, you know, genuinely have a good time. Like, oh, Mariano, hey, you feel me? Um, so those are my intentions and uh, reasons is just, you know, uh, over the last like maybe 12 years, um, you know, I've been I've been really trying to find my voice, you know, and I mean, uh, not the sound, but, um, you know, the things that I'm that I'm attached to, you know, um, like a single parent, you know, it's like for whatever reason, you know, I know how I know how that song sounds now. So uh, reasons is a descriptive um, sonic narrative that uh, if you want to know anything about me. It's going to definitely be in the music on, on Reasons. Now, me listening through all the years, y'all was young and spunky. Y'all was about that uh, right. about that action. Yes, sir. All those records. Right. <laughs> <laughs> young, so this young new one. Yeah, running we around. running through a lot of things. <laughs> and now with the Reasons, did that perspective change? or? Well, yeah. I mean, um, the experience of having to be responsible for two other whole human beings, you know, that it, it just changes how you, you know, uh, express yourself. And, um, you know, that's the reason why, you know, distance is, is definitely like, you know, a new phase for me and, and, and a new phase for my audience and, and the fans and people that know me and know me from different things, you know, um, we shot the video in, in South Africa. Have any has anybody seen the video yet? Have y'all seen the video to this? Y'all should Okay. Real fan real fans in the house right there, right there right here. Y'all definitely need to watch the video because um I shot it in South Africa, um three different locations, Durban, Cape Town, and um Johannesburg. And um you know, I find that through traveling, you can really learn a lot about yourself and a lot about culture. You know, it all turns back into yourself, you know, looking at your life, where you come from. And I think it's really important. You know, I got homies that still live in certain neighborhoods that only been to Vegas. You know what I mean? Like a drive to Vegas. And, um, you know, that kind of thinking is, is so narrow-minded, you know what I mean? Um, I would encourage you guys to watch the video. Um, it's a small trip to South Africa through my eyes. So when you get home, you know, check out the distance video. It's really dope. And, and of course, I'm performing that move y'all just seen I did. That's in the video. But you would have known that if you asked would have watched it, okay? It's she all good. They're going to watch when they get home. <laughs> they like, they what gonna are get you on doing? It. Oh, oh, he, he, he's popping his pelvic right now. You know what I'm saying? No, that's in the video. Continuity. It's in the video. Now that you're a father and the kids, you know, you raise the kids to end the things. And you was a child prodigy. Right. Now parents used to be like, you listen to them talk about that mess like that? Right. Are your kids doing things, playing their songs? And you're going, hey, hey, hey. 
Well, you know what? They're I'm, young, but they catching songs. I know they are. You, are you, have you had put your foot down yet? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, are they millennials? That's what they're calling the millennials? No, I think it might be. I think my, my kid might be a part of something else. I don't know. Anyways, um, I don't know if it's millennials because it changes every, I think, 10 years or something like that because the millennials are now. But my kids are very, uh, you know, Internet savvy. You know, my son is two, he'll be three, and he knows how, you know, my password. He knows how to get him a phone. He knows how to take pictures of himself. You feel me? So, uh, you know, it's just completely different. <laughs> you know, um, I try not to uh, shit on from too much, but I try to just, you know, think about the best explanation. <laughs> How am I going to explain this to my son? I just try to keep it real with him. I know he's two, but he's pretty. He's he's practically have some grown. questions when he's a little bit older. I mean, he's practically grown. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know how to do that with a phone. Oh, yeah, it was a VCR. I'm just saying. He didn't have phones like this back in the day. Right, and he loves Michael Jackson, and he watches Michael Jackson, and, you know, it's it's really cool to be able to uh, see myself in him and see that mirror version of me as a child, and I'm like, dang, I was just like that. He doesn't really listen to me all the time. You know, he's a boy. So I'm like, hey, don't do that, Mega, and he does it anyway. So, you know, this process for me, um, being... A, a young father is like just so exciting and I love it and you know parents you know um, when you become a parent you recognize that there is no you know um, no cheat sheet you know you kind of just you know oh you all right there <laughs> too much Hennessy <laughs> there, there's no cheat sheet you know you kind of just learn as you go you know and then you know doing that you know you find out all of the different stuff, like, oh, my mom's, oh, okay, mom, she, she didn't do this right. <laughs> but she did support me, so thank you, mom. <laughs> so it's all good. Tell me about your career, man, because you quietly, we what, 20 years next year? Yeah, well, actually, in, tw in, in, tw in 2020. And you've had a quietly, like, very, very good 20 thank years. Thank you. Do you ever, like, think back and be like, wow? Yeah, like I mean... Throughout all of my experiences, you know, they're just starting. They're just now starting to make sense. You know, um, I remember on You Got Served sitting in the uh, editing bay. You know, Her three us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three us. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, when I think about all of the movies that I did, when I really, like, think about, you know, my history and all of the different opportunities starting, you know, at 14, having an international Pops commercial, any anyone that's really my fan, they know, like, oh, I remember where he started. So now... When I think about it and I'm like, oh, I want to direct my video or oh, I need to edit this or, you know, all things creative, like it makes so much sense because this is really what I've been doing, you know, all of my life. So um, it's new and exciting for me. You know, um, my kids have definitely given me a new sense of purpose. So I'm I'm so happy. I'm I'm, I'm happy and thank y'all for coming. You know what I mean? To enjoy. I hope y'all drinking a little something. There he is. Raising okay. glasses. All right. <laughs> now, next year might be the 20th year of you and the brothers putting it together putting that debut album right. i know you're about to hit the road can we have any su surprises anything <laughs> y'all might do be on bt or something y'all do it again for the 20th y'all can't let it slide and let it, <laughs> and let it pass away everybody grew up on it so right well you know the the real unfortunate thing about um a time period is is that you know it's and this is something that i really relate to because a lot of people a lot of my fans a lot of people that weren't maybe necessarily close to my music didn't allow me to grow up you know and it's like i'm still you know i'm i'm 32 you know what i mean um i'm still so young in the game i'm still i still have so much to learn about life um and i feel like that period of time in my career you know i think i think you know cuz people ask me all the time like when they see uh the uh the new edition you know biopic and performance and they like you y'all should do one and i'm like no we shouldn't because that's the end y'all that's the end i hope y'all recognize that you know, if we nah, if they wait, doing wait, wait, the wait. biopic, if they doing a biopic on a young man that's thirty two and capable and able to perform and to, and that wants to go out and perform, that that ain't the end for me just yet. Now, <laughs> but that's okay. not the end for you. That's the end of like that chapter. I mean, I guess. 
I guess. I don't You're know. You're like, nah. I mean, I just, it's, it's it's hard to bring people together and to recreate something that was created, you know, in a in a time and in a space, you know, where it's like some of the other members, you know, they have kids too, you know, being considerate about that. I just don't know where everyone is. I know that I got to re be responsible for two kids, you know, and I don't have time to waste on trying to, you know, recreate a moment, you know, for, you know, maybe some people that aren't prepared or, or not necessarily necessarily you know ready for that you know I, I just diving into the past is difficult for me you know what I'm saying because um there was a lot of experiences during that time being a kid that you know um when I finally look back on it I was like damn I was really a kid you know what I'm saying and you know my mom didn't necessarily always have the know-how to know what to do she just supported me you know what I mean and there was a lot of things during that time that I was just like wow I was really a kid and I didn't, never really got the opportunity to enjoy myself it's always been business for me and now I'm getting to enjoy myself and I get to enjoy myself not only through the excitement of creating but for my kids too and it's so cool to watch my son dance like me and my daughter you know she's dancing already she just turned one you know so um when people ask me that you know it's a bittersweet thing because it's like I understand you know we were a part of a lot of people's history you know um and if I did have the opportunity to correctly give it the focus and do it right I would love to do it for people, you know, but I don't know if that time is right now. It's still so much that I have to uh, do creatively. It's still so much that I want to, more that I want to say. It's still so many performances that um, I believe people haven't seen. You know, people aren't captivated by performances anymore. So maybe one or two, three performers out right now that people actually like to go and see, like Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, or Chris. You know what I'm saying? So it's like um, I want to be able to have the opportunity to, you know, do that for people, you know, to perform again, to, you know, say y'all come to the show and y'all really have a memorable time with your loved ones. I think that that's what, you know, sharing music is really about. It's about positivity. It's really what brings cultures together. It really brings different walks of life together. And um, being in the music for a long time, if it's not done that way, then, you know, it's probably not being done the proper way. I see you, you know still emphasize on the show. Last back there, we was talking about <laughs> you still practicing dance moves. <laughs> I still can't hit it like I used to. You, <laughs> he was still out there getting it. You still playing out your shows like crazy with the dance steps and all that. I still yeah. watch Touch. Remember Touch, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a different conversation now. You know, um, a lot of uh, a lot of men are afraid to um, to uh, to engage with women the way that I remember men engage with women, and I think that that's kind of like an issue. You know, what I'm saying um, I remember you know going to the party because it was going to be girls there, and you know thinking like, oh, I probably have an opportunity. Wait a minute, I can dance. Let me, hey, how you doing, baby? <laughs> and that's a major tool, you know, for the fellas out here, because, you know, we losing right now. Bad. We losing on so many levels. <laughs> on so many levels. So, uh, yeah, you know, I can't wait to, you know, perform. And, um, you know, like in the distance video, first, you know, when, as soon as the video start, and you see me and I'm performing, I activate my hips. And, you know, um, yeah, you you gotta act. You yeah. gotta activate your hips for the ladies. They gotta know. Like you warm them up, you turn. You them gotta on. let them know. I got these hips for you, baby. <laughs> I got these hips for you now, girl. Okay. I got two babies. I know it work. Okay. <laughs> this is grown up talk now. I'm talking right now. Okay, I'm 32 years old. Okay. <laughs> I heard that. But I, but I but I but I say all of that to say that um you know dance is still the other you know uh, universal language you know what I'm saying and it's something that I'm well versed in you know what I mean and it's something that I want to let the fellas know you know ain't, ain't nothing wrong with stretching you can stretch to get prepared you know to do the, what you got to do you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah oh man look at you like, like it hurt <laughs> he know what I'm talking about he, went, he, went, he know what I'm talking about damn. you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> you know, y'all know what I'm we trying know what to it say. Is. Gotta get ready. I'm just saying. We taking notes. We activating hips right after this. I'm just, we gonna have an activate the just hip. Just make class. sure a lady is around, you know, <laughs> or whatever you're into. Make sure that's there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, doing my research, I went through all your pictures and I had to ask this question. It's gonna sound wild. You've had a lot of hairstyles. Yeah. 
Which okay. one was your favorite? I think this one right now. That's the one? Yeah, because um, it's kind of transformed. It was like, I can remember being a kid, and by the way, my mom is a hairstylist, so that's why, you know, I always had the nice braids, you feel me? So I come from a history of, like, women that do hair. So my look, you know, um, my hair is really important to me that I represent myself, you know what I mean, in a special way, you know, for a woman that can handle all of this handsomeness. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, because that means that, hey, you know, my hair can't be looking better than yours, baby, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. So I'm now we got the reasons about to drop on the people, man. <laughs> is this going to go into your music, trying to get them to dance together again? Is that the whole sound of it? Because the distance is crazy. It'll make right. you get up there and want to grab hips. What right. about the rest of it? It's all about grabbing hips when you go to the party. <laughs> Give me well, the hands on the hips. Well, it's definitely about uh, a positivity and good energy right now. You know, um, there's it's no mystery, you know, that um, this country is divided. And, um, you know, we're all faced with, you know, racism. And my contribution to it, other than really having a conversation that's rhetorical and just keeps happening again about, you know, what people should be getting, what's happening, United Airlines. I mean, it's always something every day, you know, and um, my contribution to music is really just to be able to escape. You know, when you put on Omarion, I mean, from the top to the bottom, you're going to feel good vibes. Now, we always got to get back to real life, you know what I mean? We don't want to, you know, act like that's not there, but sometimes we need to we need to be inspired we need to be motivated to uh continue to be positive in this world and that's what reasons is about it's really about just spreading love and positivity and um i can't wait for y'all to hear it i wish i could play y'all a new song right now but i don't know if they got an ox cord we uh we got bluetooth we new school we can oh, make okay. it happen for them though yeah but i would like to for y'all to hear some you know another song or two just so you know what you're buying to you know um i think it's uh important moving forward you know in music and um personally it's like what are we all buying into now you know what i'm saying like what are we you know what i mean what are you listening to music for are you listen to music when you're sad okay we got a song for that you feel me or when you want to feel good you want to dance we got a song for that um music has really been my connection to people you know, and to remaining a person, you know what I mean? Because when you're an entertainer, you know, as a child, I mean, we ain't going to say no names, but it's a few celebrities, a lot of celebrities that have grown up in the industry, and they just toe up. They toe up, you know what I'm saying? So this life isn't easy, you know what I'm saying? Um, it comes with um, It comes with a lot. So, you know, this is kind of my therapy, too, you know, to be able to share with y'all some good music and for y'all to feel good and for y'all to tell me it sound good or it don't sound good. You know, this is our exchange. This is this has been our exchange exchange since I've been 14, you know, and it's just taking on a new uh, a new level, you know. So I hope everyone that enjoys it, you know, um, use it wisely. You know what I'm saying? All right. Last thing. You got yeah. Super albums. Number ones, you have movies, sold out tours, you've done everything. What's left on the list to do? Um, probably score some films, you know. Um, I haven't acted in a long time, so it's time to reintroduce myself to that. Um, probably have some groups, you know, because I've been in one myself, so it only makes sense for me to have a group for myself, you know, to manage and to create with and uh, artists. Um, all things creative, you know. I plan on being around and I plan on, uh, you know, um, continuing building my legacy of music. Yeah. That's what's happening. Give it up for Marion one more time, y'all. <laughs> and Hennessy's in the building. Where Shout out building? to Hennessy. Got to give it up to the VSOP. They got something special for you. We get done with all this. Okay. So, Word for Word is the next single um, that I'm going to be putting out. And um, I shot. Distance and another song called Body On Me. I will encourage y'all to. We could probably play Body On Me too because uh, we got the video to that. So we're going to play two songs. We're going to play uh, Body On Me, which is out. We shot that in South Africa. And word for word is going to be the new single. We're actually preparing to shoot that video in Japan. So, uh, you know, y'all going to be able to see what Japan looks like too. I mean, I'm just giving you the trip. You take y'all on trips like a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> you never been on a plane? I'll take you there. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so let's play word for word first. Can you turn it up too? Don't yeah, be shy. Drink morning. your drinks too while we doing it. Yeah, all the way up. Uh, turn it up. 
up the new level. Yo. A little bit more, come on. Now. Right now, so. Drunk off emotion, lost in the moment. Two guns we smoking, red now we're ghosting. PC we coasting, sex in the ocean. Promise is broken. Someone that you cared about Wish that the chance would ever come right, back right, right, about right, 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 right. Said we right, were out of right, time right, but right. couldn't hold it down Now we're ghosting I'm gonna get over there Damn, we going DJ too? It's a party, man <laughs> Chris, you're fired I just want you guys to be able to hear it properly. That's really important besides all of the bass. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got body on me? We're going to play body on me. But, yeah, you can see that's rhythmic, you know, as well. You know, you're going to be able to dance to that song. That's a really uh, personal song right there. You know what I mean? When y'all are able to live with that, y'all be able to hear it because I'm definitely singing about it. Um, you got body? You got body on me? She got the whole album with her? Oh, yeah. So what a baby making music, man. Oh, you want to hear some of that? That's what it is. I want people to jump on each other on the tables, right? Like, All right, play, what, play, what, play nudes. Nudes? Nudes. It's called nudes? Nudes. Like, send me the nudes? That's exactly what the song is. Yo, t play that twice. And <laughs> hey, get your phones out. Yeah. <laughs> Taking old ones and new ones. Anybody that laughed is ones that send them. <laughs> exactly. Good job, Chris. Yo, it's lit. Yo, send us some news. <laughs> It was only like a like 30 seconds into the record. Am I like am I like the only one that heard it? Hold yeah. on, before we go, let's get back to the interview real quick. <laughs> let's get let's get to real world questions here. 
So you's a dad now, right? Yes, sir. And, and, you, and, and, and like the first, you know, the first joint, you was a teen band and y'all did things and y'all got in trouble with a lot of parents coming to y'all shows because y'all was wild. I remember that was crazy. Right. Now you a dad. Right. And now you telling them send nudes. Right. How you feel about that? Well, I mean, I think that um, adult behavior is right. adult behavior, and I think okay. that it should be always conducted as such. You know what I'm saying? We all grown in here so we can have this open discussion. Okay, okay, um, okay. I think, okay. It's, I think it's cool. I think for me it's not so cool, you know, because for whatever reason, you know, I want to act like, you know, I could – you know, be sending news and there's not a possibility that, you know, someone else can see them. So it's not really all of that good for me, y'all. I don't want to be in a, you know, I don't want to be in the wrong position, you know, send the wrong news to a girl that I thought liked me, but she really put it on the blog. You feel me? So I don't hey, really, it's, 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 not, right. it's, it's not good for me, but I'm just saying. That's promotion. <laughs> that, <laughs> I guess you're right. Hashtag reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's promotion. Hashtag reasons. You dig. <laughs> when does this drop on the people, brother? Um, he talked into the drink. <laughs> it's a bad. party, man. That's my how bad. you know it's a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's a party. Shout to Hennessy. He talked into the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all caught me. My bad. <laughs> Y'all caught me slipping. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is coming uh, June sixteenth. Yeah, right, right around uh, Father Father's Day. So, yeah, salute to all the fathers. You know what I mean? We don't get enough credit. I'm just saying, salute to the daddies. Hi, ladies. <laughs> so send nudes on Father's Day. <laughs> I'm just saying, that would make my day. Hey, it's the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> you know, in honor of reasons, they have you a very special reasons Hennessy VSOP bottle. B. Oh, that's too lit. That's, that's for you. Lit. Oh, I appreciate this. Yes, yeah, shout to Hennessy for coming hey. through and hooking it up for you. So if they don't send the nudes quick enough, <laughs> that'll get them there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> To add to my collection. That's what it is. Yeah. But one more time, give it up for your brother Amario up there. Thank you guys. Uh, Thank you. Amario, one time. 